Good morning from Epcot. Come join me for a day at the parks. The only firm plan that I have today is a lunch reservation at Beaches and Cream, a place I haven't been to in a long time, but I'm very excited to go back to again. So I'm just going to walk around today and enjoy myself and just kind of see where the day takes me. Outside of Connections, this is interesting. They have uh, four artistic interpretations of Spaceship Earth. This is inspired by the 1958 featurette for artist Paint One Tree. So they use different methods to paint Spaceship Earth. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let's head inside of Connections. I absolutely love this mural in here. The detail, the size, the color. It's absolutely gorgeous and must have taken forever to paint. And you can get right up close with it, which I like a lot. Let's hop on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. If you come to Epcot, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is a definite must do. Go for the lightning lane, pay for the lightning lane. It is 100% worth it, absolutely worth it. Um, this is the best ride that Disney World or any Disney park has, I think. Greetings, Terrence. Stand by for teleportation. Okay, so I got Iran, which is probably the song I didn't want, but that's all right. Still a ton of fun. So I've got about two hours until my big lunch at Beaches and Cream. I'm gonna just do a little bit of walking around Epcot for a little while. I'll start my, uh, start my Apple Watch and do it as a Apple Watch outdoor walk. All right, we're gonna start walking along World Showcase Lagoon. Isabel. I'm leaving France and going into Morocco now. Now that we've passed France and Ratatouille and International Gateway, you'll see that the pathway is just not as crowded because there's not as much going on up here after uh, until 11 a.m. Now, normally I would want to go to Oasis Sweets and Sips to get either the slushy that's there or some of the cookies, but I do want to be nice and hungry for lunchtime, so I'm uh, abstaining today, okay? I love these model trains in the Germany Pavilion. Walking by the Norway Pavilion and was just thinking, like, what would be my favorite country pavilion here at Epcot? And I just actually couldn't think of one. I couldn't rank them. I think they're all actually really good. I mean, some have good rides, some have good restaurants. They all look really beautiful. And it would be really, really hard if you had to choose just one. Um, honestly, I couldn't do it. I don't think I could. Um, every, every single pavilion has something that I like. Less than 20 minutes. I'm showing about a mile, 1.1 miles. Um, There's a little extra because I did walk from around where Spaceship Earth is. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, pick up for 
our second loop, I think I'll be able to get three in before I want to start headed over for lunchtime. The sun is starting to come out and it's getting a little warm and I'm starting to get a little hungry for lunch, so uh, we're doing great. All right, that's my third lap done. I've been walking for about 54 minutes. Uh, let's see here. That's uh, 3.2 miles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to International Gateway towards the Epcot Resorts and walk around that area for a little bit just to change it up. Um, I still got about 30, 40 minutes before lunchtime, so uh, I just wanna change it up a little bit. It's also starting to get a little crowded here uh, because the festival booths just opened and people are starting to descend on and getting their food items and so on. All right, I just left Epcot. Uh, I'm walking towards the Epcot Resorts right now underneath the Skyliner, and uh, I'll just keep this walking going. I've been walking to right about yeah, an hour right now, and it's been about three and a half miles of walking. I haven't really stopped at all uh, to do anything. And uh, my lunch reservation, I can check in in about 30 minutes. So we'll see how many loops I do of Hourglass Lake and maybe some other areas around the uh, Epcot Resorts. This cake shop has been under construction for a very, very long time. Hopefully we'll be seeing that open soon. I've never been to this restaurant up here, uh, Trattoria Al Forno. Is that any good? And then I also haven't been to Abracadabra up ahead. And Jelly Rolls still haven't been there, though it sounds like it's fun. Let's head over and check out the Swan and Dolphin. This architecture is so interesting. All right, I made it to Beach Club. It was about 75 minutes of walking, four and a half miles. And uh, just in time, about maybe 20 minutes early, 15, 20 minutes early for lunch. Uh, let, let's go check it out. Okay, so this was all posted to my reels and to TikTok. This was the grilled cheese that I got at Beaches and Cream. It was completely amazing. Best grilled cheese I've ever had by far. And dipping it into the tomato, tomato soup made it even better. This is the peanut butter sundae, the No Way Jose. Uh, I asked for extra peanut butter and they delivered. So there's extra peanut butter sauce in there. This was so good, but I couldn't finish it. All right, so I've been trying to eat a little better the last few weeks and every week I have one cheat meal and I don't think I could have picked a better cheat meal than Beaches and Cream. I am so happy with that. All right, let's head back towards Epcot. So I don't feel like I'm truly in Walt Disney World until I've been to Magic Kingdom. So how about we go there now? It's great to see people having so much fun. Let's go to Magic Kingdom. There it is. Now that I'm here, I feel like I've been to Disney World, right? Let's start in Adventureland. All right, so why don't we hop on one of my favorites, Pirates of the Caribbean. I love this queue. I'll be back after the ride.
Jones. It's the rum they want. <laughs> They just started serving beignets in Magic Kingdom, and look at that line. Tiana's Bayou Adventure is definitely coming along here. Uh, I think we're going to have Tiana's Bayou Adventure before we know it. I think at least in 2024 at some point, maybe summertime. I don't know what it's looking like inside, but on the outside, it's looking like it's coming along pretty well. There's a new mystery box pin set that I want to collect. It's the Star Wars droid pin set. Uh, let me see if they've got it in the Frontier Trading Post. So I like also looking at the different parks pins that they've got. There's always some interesting stuff here. They've got a new like honorary pirate Disney name tag, honorary princess in the style of like a Disney name tag, and honorary ghoul. I love that. That's cool. And here are the mystery pin boxes. There we go. All right, let's open these up right now. All right, BB-8. C-3PO and BB-8, two good ones, all right. One more box to open up, let's hopefully it's not the same. Oh, <laughs> dupes already. Ah, there we go, BD-1. All right, that's a ton of fun for one day. Thank you so much for coming along with me and I'll catch you in the parks.